Hi everyone, thanks for coming by once more to Cough and to Max Easy Lesson. <laughs> Today we're going to look at coffins. Forgive my guilt. Not always sure what things called sins may be. I am sure of one sin I have done. It was years ago and I was a boy. I lay in the frost flowers with a gun. The air ran blue as the flowers. I held my breath. Two birds on golden legs, slim as dream things, ran like quicksilver on the golden sun. My gun went off. They ran with broken wings into the sea. I ran to fetch them, but they I ran to fetch them in, but they swam with their heads high out to sea. They cried like two sorrowful high flutes with jagged ivory bones where wings should be. For days I heard them when I walked to that headland, crying out to their kind in the blue. The other plovers were going over south on silver wings, leaving these two broken. The cries went out one day. But I still hear them all over the sounds of sorrow in war or peace I have ever heard. Time cannot drown them. Those slender flutes of sorrow never cease. Two airy things forever denied the air. I never knew how their lives at last were split. But I have hoped for years that is wild, airy, and beautiful will my guilt. Now, Tristram Coffin is one of those, Robert Cuff Coffin is one of those poets who write about his past and about th about things that have affected him in his past. The persona here feels remorse and regret about shooting a bird when he was a young child. Now although the birds swam out to sea, he could still hear their cries for days and throughout his entire life, as they had died slowly and painfully. In this poem, the persona as a young boy was actually young when he shot the birds and as a result he did not fully develop his sense of right and wrong. Still, the episode of shooting the birds left such a mark on him that later in his life he remembers this, and even then, he was convinced it was a sin. He says, not always sure what things called sins may be. I am sure of one thing, one sin I have done, and this he, he makes clear at the onset. The simile that he uses, the poetic device that he uses is simile, and simile is used more than once in the poem. The simile in this case, the air ran blue as the flowers helps the reader to see that the air was so frosty that it was nearly visible. Also, the coldness foreshadows the fact that he, stole, he shows two birds who later die a slow and painful death. Now, many people are aware that when something, when persons are cold, it means they are heartless. Now, the heartlessness that comes with being cold is common in just about everything that we do. The fact is that the persona remembers the cold of the atmosphere itself and the coldness of having shot the birds and killed them. The simile golden legs the slim as dream things. Now this is in contrast and shows how fragile the birds are and that they possess the great beauty. It is almost unfair for the persona to shoot such small defenseless and fragile creatures and this adds to the feelings of guilt that he has. In addition, the simile run like quicksilver on the golden sun shows that despite the speed of the birds, they are no match for the boy and his gun. Clearly we see how nature is at the mercy of humans and that even young humans are created, created capable of great destruction when it comes to nature. nature. Fact is that even as a little boy, he had been trained by society and by society's standards to be cruel. And cruel comes out in the fact that he actually shoots this bird. The persona though cannot finish his task as they swam with their heads high out to sea. And these are the birds. It also shows here that the birds were defiant, that they went against the odds of dying and therefore they would not allow themselves to be finished off by the boy. There is also contrast in the way that the boy hides in the grass waiting to shoot them and also contrasts how beautiful nature is and how cruel humans can also be, whether it is done intentionally or unintentionally. Again, we go back to the simile where he uses, they cried like two sorrowful high flutes. Now this describes the high-pitched and mournful sound that would be the factor that haunts the boy later on due to his guilt and his regret for his actions. Now the use of the word jagged in with jagged ivory bones where wings would should be is very powerful as it gives an impression that jaggedness means that something is missing, incomplete or damaged. The boy hears their cries for days as they are out to sea and do not have the ability to fly away or feed themselves. The other birds fly over them going south for the winter, so the birds will soon die due to the elements, the natural elements in the atmosphere. 
These circumstances then make the boy feel so guilty because the birds are suffering in the cold and of course they will die slowly and painfully. Now this is why he is so affected by the incident. The cries, he says, went out one day, but I still hear them. One day they die, but the haunting memories of killing those birds and the cries of those birds stay with him for a very long time. The persona then personifies nature and homes that it can forgive him for his cruelty as a boy.